Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Braxophone, and today we're going to be exploring some elemental damage sets and finding out which is best for Gene. In this video, we're going to be discussing different builds, the differences in physical DPS and elemental DPS, and how even the builds we're showing today can be improved on. So first things first, let's talk about elemental builds and their purpose. Oftentimes, elemental builds are either support or secondary DPS builds, but elemental builds can also be the ones used to kill bosses in record time if you're running the right team composition. This is mostly due to combo damage, which is a result of multiple elements with a combo used in conjunction. For Jean in particular, this is called Swirl Damage, and it's essentially just elemental damage that mimics the previous element but scales off of Jean's elemental mastery. Swirl Damage can take on the form of Fire Damage, Water Damage, Ice Damage, or Electro Damage. In elemental builds, there's lots of things to think about stat-wise, and that's why they're so complex. On one hand, elemental damage scales on your attack stat, while on the other hand, it scales based on artifact elemental damage. And on a third hand, it scales with elemental mastery if you're comboing. The idea with elemental builds is to use your elemental skill and elemental burst as often as possible. Depending on the character, this can get really insane. Well, let's just get right into artifacts and how to build Gene for elemental damage. I tested six sets today, so there's going to be a lot to discuss, but before we go into that, let's talk about the primary stats you want to look for. For Gene's artifact with elemental damage, you're going to want to look for Animo damage, attack percent, and elemental mastery. Elemental mastery and attack percent are all dependent on which of the builds that you decide to go into. Animo damage will always be consistently good because Gene is an Animo aspected character, and Animo damage scales after the calculations of attack percent, which means that it's basically just really buff. The sets that we tested are the following 2 Veridescent Venerer, 2 Gladiator with Animo damage bonus, 2 Veridescent Venerer, 2 Gladiator with attack percent bonus, 4 Venerer with attack percent bonus, 2 Instructor, 2 Glad with Animo bonus. 2 Instructor, 2 Venerer with Animo Bonus, and 4 Gladiator with Animo Bonus. 2 Piece Viridescent Venerer set gives an Animo Damage Bonus of 15%, while the 4 Piece set increases Swirl Damage by 60% and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused in the Swirl by 40% for 10 seconds. The 2 Piece Gladiator set increases attack by 18%, and the 4 Piece Gladiator set allows you to do 35% more damage with your physical attacks. And finally, the two-piece instructor set gives you 80 elemental mastery. Now let's look at the trials that I conducted. I tested six sets, as previously stated, and here I actually calculated the DPS of a normal melee combo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 2, and then I also checked out the Swirl damage, Gale Blade damage, and Dandelion Breeze damage, and then combined those. Do keep in mind that golems reduce physical damage, so it'll seem like the elemental damage is 10 times as much as the normal DPS, which just isn't true, but for the sake of testing, we had to use the golems. The first set that was tested was the two Viridescent Venerer and two Gladiator set with Animo damage. The standard combo yielded a DPS of 469, with a Gale Blade of 4273, and a Dandelion Breeze of 6216. In total, Swirl damage was 568. This meant for Gale Blade was Swirl and Dandelion Breeze was Swirl that Gale Blade was 4841 and Dandelion Breeze was 6784. The next set tested against it was 2 Viridescent Venerer with 2 Gladiator with an attack percent buff instead of an animo percent buff, and both the attack percent and animo percent were exactly the same number for this calculation. In total, we got a DPS of 519, with Gale Blade dealing 3649 damage and Dandelion Breeze dealing 5308 damage. The Swirl damage total was 510, and so with Swirl, Gale Blade did 4159, and with Swirl, Dandelion Breeze did 5818. When pit against each other, it looks like the attack percent does greatly affect melee DPS, however, sacrificing that animo damage is going to leave you with much lower numbers for your abilities. The third set we tested was the 4 Veridescent Venerer with attack percent, so this time we got the Swirl bonus as well. The overall DPS was pretty low, we got 408, however the Gale Blade did 2811 damage and Dandelion Breeze did 4089 damage. When adding the Swirl to that of 945, we got the Gale Blade damage up to 3756 and the Dandelion Breeze damage up to 5034. Because we know that Animo damage scales better for abilities than attack percent, I wonder what would happen if we put on an Animo damage piece. Unfortunately, I don't have a piece that can fit that niche, however, I'm sure that you would get much higher numbers on 
on your elemental abilities if you used an animo percent. The fourth set we tested was the two instructor to gladiator set with animo percent. The overall DPS we got was 439 with a gale blade of 3569 and a dandelion breeze of 5193. Swirl damage was 660 which leaves the total gale blade damage to 4229 and the dandelion breeze damage to 5853. The fifth set we tested was two instructor two venerer with animo percent and the damage we got for that one is 456 with a gale blade of 3915 and a dandelion breeze of 5696. This set actually ended up being better than the two instructor two gladiator set because the swirl damage remained the same. We had 660 swirl damage to add to our dandelion breeze and gale blade which left our gale blade at 4575 and our dandelion breeze at 6356. The final set that I tested was the four gladiator set with animo damage. This set essentially maxes out attack percent but then adds in the animo damage bonus on top because the calculations add the animo damage after the other pieces have been scaled. We got a total damage of 568 DPS with a Gale Blade of 3634 and a Dandelion Breeze of 5287. We got our Swirl damage to 568 which means that our Gale Blade plus Swirl was 4202 and our Dandelion Breeze plus Swirl was 5855. This set is interesting because you're getting on average 120 more melee DPS in your combination and you're also getting pretty high Gale Blade and Dandelion Breeze attack compared to some of the other builds we looked at today. Moving on to results, let's talk about which ones are the best and why. If you're looking for the highest elemental damage in conjunction with some decent melee rotation DPS, then the 2 Viridescent Venera 2 Gladiator with the Animo% percent damage is going to be the best set. It didn't have the highest standard rotation DPS and it didn't have the highest swirl damage, but the overall Animo damage output by the abilities was very high and in fact the highest of any of the ones we tested. If you still want Jean to be somewhat of a healer though, I would actually recommend the 4 piece gladiator set with the animo damage bonus because it allows you to get a lot of melee DPS while also still getting the animo bonus for your elemental abilities. If you go on the route of switching Jean into clear trash mobs with swirl damage, I would actually go for an instructor set or the 4 piece venerer set. What you can do with these sets is continue to build the elemental mastery stat. My stat was fairly low in this video, but it did get the damage done. But you can do more you can definitely stack up even more elemental mastery to make the swirl damage just scale exponentially. I don't prefer to do swirl damage, I prefer to just hack and slash away, sometimes press E, haha, ha, XD. But for those of you who love elemental comboing, those might be the sets for you. I think objectively though, for just pure animo damage, the two Veridescent Venerer and the two Gladiator set with animo is going to be the best. Something to be careful of though is that with an elemental set like this, you have to do two things. The first thing to be aware of is that you're going to have to give up on a lot of your healing. There are some sets that compromise this, but Jean doesn't heal when she uses her Gale Blade, and the Dandelion Breeze ability is on a 20 second cooldown, which means you can't just spam it. For that reason alone, I don't recommend using Energy Recharge as your primary stat. The other thing is that you want to make sure that you're running a good team composition with this to get the maximum damage output. I personally like to use double fire because it gives a 25% damage bonus, but you can also use double electric for that energy recharge. Overall, no set here is going to be the best. The problem with Jean is that she's good at everything, but she's not the best at anything. You can build her abilities all you want, but eventually you're going to cap out. That being said, Galeblade is probably one of the strongest trash mob cleanups in the game, and spamming it can be busted. And because Elemental Mastery can be a pretty broken stat when you're able to get it pretty high, you can just spam Gale Blade and other combinations with Gale Blade to really clean up. But anyways, that's about all I got for you in this video. I hope it helped you figure out which kind of sets you want to run if you're running Elemental. Jean is just so versatile, you can really do any of these and it's going to be fine. But some across the board do just have better stats overall. If you've enjoyed my content, make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you want to see more Genshin Impact guides and content, make sure to drop a subscribe. We are currently trying to hit 500, and I would love to see that number sometime soon. You guys have been amazingly supportive so far, and I can't thank you enough for that. Thank you guys so much, and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Look forward to some good videos pretty soon.